Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Play the Hits. This is Chris and Max's second project for Indian Summer. We are doing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. How you doing, Max? Pretty good tonight. How's it going? It's going good now that we figured out that Discord is once again just fucking with us. It's just a piece of shit. No surprise there. Yes. So no pomp or circumstance here. We're going to uh, start a new game. Um, we did do like 10 seconds of like sample gameplay footage just to make sure we're up and running. So here yep. we go. So this is a game that I've been um, really wanting to play ever since I first saw it uh, previewed like, oh, I don't know, probably like five or six years ago. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm all about like a good like murder mystery story, you know? Yeah, actually, I have no idea how this game plays. Is this kind of like a sort of like a mist raven game? Is it? Near as I can tell. Yeah. I don't actually okay. know. Okay. Alrighty. It, it seems very plot heavy, like many of the story, uh, the the indie games we're doing this summer, um, but it seems to have a little bit of a supernatural kick to it. I'm not 100 percent sure about that though. Okay. Clearly, you play as a private detective who's been hired to uh, find out what happened to him. And here we are. Mm. So this is exactly where we were when we um, left off, just to sample the game. So this is as far as either of us have seen of this game. Yep. It's it's a damn good looking game. I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay. So as far as like how it plays, um, like what your goals are. All right. <laughs> okay. So apparently you can sure as shit die. <laughs> what was what that? Is that? Dude, what was that all about? Okay, so immediately, uh, I'm a little surprised. What, like, what am I seeing here, though? Like, what, what do you see? Yeah, are those bones? That's got to be bones, right? I think so. I don't know. A skeleton? Yeah, that's a skeleton. <laughs> well, there was a skeleton here, I guess. <laughs> So, one thing I'm noticing about the game, and I don't think this is my graphics card, but it's coming in just a little choppy for me. Um, oh, okay. Not like destroy the experience choppy, but let's see what my options are as far as uh, visual settings, because I'd love for this to be um, as clean as possible. Resolution scale 200%. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Low. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, high 100%. V-Sync enabled. Yeah. Um, frame rate control, unlimited frame rate. Sure. Anti-aliasing. I never know what all of the different anti-aliasing um, things are. I'm going to go yeah, high. Detail uh, distance. You can handle a game like this. You can handle high. You would, you would think so. Field of view, about 90. That should be good brightness i'm gonna crank the brightness a little bit because i've noticed when we record it tends to run just a little dark okay so um yeah what the hell see if any of that helped nope still choppy yeah i'm thinking it's just the game i think it's just okay. how it runs that's okay and once again okay so more skeletons what is what is this that you're doing it's just called sense. You you just click the left mouse near so, a point of interest. Can I die? Let's find out if I can die. <laughs> no. Okay, it's not letting me jump in, so maybe I can't die. Maybe it is all just narrative. You know what it might be? I think hmm. it's that motion blur. I'm gonna. You know what? I notice on my end when you stay still, all that like that kind of Game Boy filter that's going in stops. Oh really? And at least. Yeah, the bottom half of the screen I can see now, but the top half, I can read anti-aliasing and below, I can read everything above anti-aliasing is, like, choppy. Uh-huh. It's so weird. <laughs> Camera smoothing, Although... here we go. Uh, let's just try low and see if that helps. How's it look? Looks the same to me. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me getting used to a new game, too. That could be it. 
But no, I, I've generally been able to run most games um, at 1080p at like just about max settings with no oh, yeah. and problem. Your computer, whatsoever. I'd imagine it's not a problem. Yeah, uh, though, like I said, it, I, I'm thinking it must be okay, plenty of traps. It, it's got to be um, just something to do with the game itself. Okay, so each trap that I look at gives me another part of the full picture. Okay. So as I as I look through the forest and find all these traps, like more gets revealed to me. So how you doing tonight, Max? <laughs> Other than... I'm pretty good. It's it's been a good weekend. Celebrated my birthday. That's right. Um, you're an old man. Yesterday, I <laughs> you know I kept 32. forgetting. I was like, am I 32 or 33? It was pretty sad, but I am 32. So I just had a it's it a really small thing just had a few people over yeah. uh didn't even play that many games we played some mario kart and then we just kind of just talked yeah for a while so yeah, just um i've got a confession to make my yep. birthday present for you did not pan out the way i wanted it to um <laughs> i was going to uh surprise you with a pre-order for the special edition of Link's awakening but oh, by the by the time i did that they were already sold out. So, oh, the, yeah, those sold out pretty quickly. <laughs> uh huh. So, I'm on a wait list for an email. Like, as soon as Amazon um, has that option, they're going to alert me. Um, but they also might not. So, I don't know. Yeah. So, I might, have, have, I, I might end up doing a backup for you, but I meant that's, well. <laughs> that's crazy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I meant very you know, well. It's weird for some reason. I, I look on, I, I sign up for like alerts uh for things that i'm never gonna buy but i just like you know being on the pulse of things sure and it seems like the uh philippines amazon website has been getting the uh special edition coming in again and again it's oh like, really okay and and it's like mm, that's probably <laughs> probably not what i want the but. the other thing that i was thinking about getting you was a um elgato but they seem to have gone up in price like when That's I got weird. my HD 60 S I paid 120 for it. And now like yeah. all I can find online is like a hundred and 150. Yeah. I'm usually seeing around 160 plus. Oh, and, wow. Yeah. So, um, I love I mean, you, you think but I I'd, I'd really like to, <laughs> you know, not, you think not anything's get changed suckered them? for an extra 30 to 50 bucks. Yeah. I mean, the name is exactly the same. It's not like version two or anything no, like that. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, so um, you'll probably notice I'm running just in a big fucking circle right now. <clears throat> I'm just kind of going around and getting the lay of the land a little bit. Because there's this alternate okay. path here. But I think it just, yeah, it just leads me back to this forest area. So we're going to cross the bridge and we're going to check out that train that's parked over there. Um, All right, another good. fun fact about this game. If um, after this initial recording, I look back on the video and it is super choppy. This is actually a version of the game that was just released, I think, maybe about a year ago. And what they did was they went back through the original game and the original engine, and they converted it, they upscaled it to Unreal 4. So it's got some really shiny lighting and particle effects and stuff like that, but it's the same basic game that was released a few short years ago. Um, so if this doesn't look good in the recording, um, when I purchased this, it also gave me the original as well. So oh, that's I may okay. see how that version runs comparatively. And, okay. I mean, who who really gives a shit? I mean, it, yeah, the <laughs> graphics are really nice, but it's also not like a system breaker or anything like that. Now, this, so. this is part of the Steam, like the summer sale, right? You pick this up for like less than five bucks? Correct. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. So this train looks foreboding. Uh, holy shit. Well, mis uh, mystery solved. The kid got hit by a train. <laughs> Blood? Animal? Human? Mine? Suicide? <laughs> Kill self? <laughs> yes, God. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Recently used. Crank, crank, crank. I bet. Crank, crank, crank. I gotta do some crank. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is crank? You're a nurse. What's crank? Uh, like, I have what's no the, idea, though. What's the drug lingo <laughs> what's, for What's crank? the drug that crank? Yeah. Uh, some kind of stimulant, I imagine. Maybe it's just like amphetamines. Is crank? That sounds like a question for Google. Yeah, it does. 
<laughs> Google, no, what is crank? My time. What is crank? Hey, Siri, score me some crank. Oh, God, no, Siri, <laughs> don't actually. My phone was right here. <laughs> Well, yeah, given the, that Apple the listens, listening yeah, first. given that Apple fucking listens to everything now, uh, <laughs> damn, dude. Speaking of fucking crimes, um, now I'm gonna say something that's gonna shock you, Max. Okay, I'm, I'm okay, gonna. What's up? You're, you're not gonna see this coming. Okay, I'm a little bit of a Democrat. Uh, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> oh no, fucking way. I don't dude, think we can be friends anymore. Dude, we can't fucking be friends. <laughs> um, but no. So again, like, what bothers me about the conservative movement isn't the fact that Republicans believe certain social issues and whatnot differently than I do. What bothers me is the hypocrisy and the level to which they're willing to overlook like the worst fucking scandals so long as the person in question is their guy or he's doing it for Jesus or the Gipper or whatever. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Like, fuck that. it always goes back to Ronald. Reagan. It does. <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. It, it is true. Um, <laughs> worship his ass. But what I, yeah, seriously, but what I read, uh, right before my, uh, we started recording today is that two of, uh, Trump's campaign chairs, uh, one from Oklahoma and I believe the other from Kentucky, they're both now awaiting trial for, for child sex trafficking, oh which on the one hand is horrifying enough, despicable, deplorable. They better do a shitload of jail time and, you know, never work anywhere respectable ever again. Um, yeah. if they're that lucky. Um, the other thing about this though, is how much longer are, and the answer is forever. I know the answer is forever, but how much longer <laughs> are people in Trump's camp going to just fucking look the other way on this and say to themselves, oh, poor Donald Trump. All of these crimes, these despicable, deplorable crimes, just keep happening around him without any knowledge yeah. on his part. Like, yeah. is is that really what they think? Do they convince themselves to think like, this? Like he's or, a victim and, and like, he's oh, getting man. all this bad media. Because all these yeah. other people can't keep their shit together. Dude, it, it, it just plays into the narrative even more that it's just like, man, he's really sacrificing so much. The media is going to tear him apart for this one. You know, they're just going to say that he, you oh, know, shit. this is just coming. What? Dude. Ooh. Whoa, I, I didn't expect that from this game. So this game's going to be 10 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, we, I think we found a leg. <laughs> you ready to call this a uh, cut and die, dry case here, Max? <laughs> Uh, but it's, you know what? And, and, and it's funny you mentioned this because I made myself sad today. Like I always do when I start reading politics, it, it'll be yeah, like I a know. common section somewhere. And then I start reading about something else. I was looking, I was reading an article about, oh, how the Q, QAnon conspiracy like ruined my family. And it was like three mm -hmm. different stories. Of, oh of, yeah. Like, was one people. of them about like, a, like, like an eighth grade kid who got like bullied at school and uh, just like took shelter on those. Oh my god! Like, no, but that rooms. wow. This game is no, but fucking that brutal. Totally happens. I I imagine that's, you know, it's either people who, I feel I say I feel like that happens a lot, and I've even seen that like in my work as people who nice. had a really me. bad childhood, or you know, there there was. Mm -hmm things that happen some kind of trauma that's happened to them and especially right. when you're young and you're growing up in that kind of neglect and abuse mm -hmm. your brain is literally damaged like it doesn't it doesn't form the right way you know right. when when you're not when you're constantly in like survival mode you know uh -huh. when you're not being able you're not able to like be an actual kid your your brain doesn't grow the right way no. and i feel like a lot of times that happens and, and people that's that leads to more extremist views as they get older and so you see a lot of that it's yeah. just like really sad yeah it is but and, and you know i, I, I could kind of i can kind of sympathize real quick with the story that i read um this kid basically he had a crush on this girl he was super awkward and yeah. she was all you know like oh you're sexually harassing me and they took it seriously like they they yeah. they called it sexual harassment and the kid got suspended from school and when he came back oh, like he was alienated and you know his 
natural inclination was, wow, all girls are terrible, and I'm going to get on yeah. the internet and see like what other people like have had really horrible experiences with girls. And naturally, that yeah. led him to a bunch of anti-feminists. Yeah, and, right. Like, yeah, and, and, and so he basically just got sucked in like hook, line, and sinker um, to these things, and his parents were just like panicking because he's like, you know, they 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 don't want him to feel like he's he's an early teenager so they don't want him to feel like they're you know policing his politics or they have to believe or he has to believe just like they do but at the same time you know he's saying some really ignorant shit and yeah. uh, getting really deep into this and like he became like a moderator on one of their boards and they were inviting him to like white supremacist rallies and stuff like that wow. and, and the story yeah. thankfully had a happy ending like so he convinced his mom to go with him to one of the um, MAGA rallies. And they yeah. basically just saw some, you know, um, some of the Trumpians in real life that he was talking to on the internet. And he's like, wow, I completely do not want to be like these people. And so he backed off. That's good. Which is, yeah. So. So he was able to kind of snap yeah, out of it. He, he was able know, to filter, good. yeah, what, what he was saying. That's good. Yeah. Because really I feel good. like it doesn't have, I feel like some people need to be, like straight up deprogrammed sometimes and that's pretty much you know, what yeah. his mom talked about it was just good parenting basically it was listening yeah. to him dialoguing with him and then letting him know that you trusted him to make his own mature responsible decisions so that when he came to these people he couldn't say yeah i'm sneaking here my mom she just doesn't get me and then they can really like yeah. oh but we get I you yeah no matter no matter how messed up it looks like someone is and it makes you you know gut reaction is what a horrible person you're how could you be thinking this believing this doing you keep digging and and like no one is straight up evil you know right. there's always a reason it gets to a point and sometimes it is as easy as oh mm -hmm. this this horrible thing happened to me and then i started you know, believing these things and sure. like minded people. Well, and like even you know, in sometimes Trump's you got to go a bit deeper. Yeah. I, I mean, even yeah. in, in Trump's case, I mean, don't get me wrong. The man is despicable, but you, oh, yeah. you look at him. He's never worked an honest day in his life. He was taught to believe that because his daddy had money, that his opinion is more valuable and his input and in work is worth more than anyone else's and he, i mean his life experience is right and he's taught him, yeah that's yeah. basically and true. he's never known to believe anything else like that's yeah. just life around him and yeah you so, think about it in the abstract it's sad it really you know, is because for, for sure i mean like he'll never know uh, again like not to just not to defend him or anything yeah, but he'll yeah. never know what it's like to have a meaningful social interaction with another human being like so something that you and I have on a daily basis with our, you know, wives, our friends, our, our families, like, yeah, where it's not some kind of like, uh, you're expecting something. It's right. not like, or, or like some charade some put on to like, please him or get something from him or get him to yeah. say something like everyone around him to, to a person is there because of his money. And, and that's, yep. that's really got to fuck you up internally. Yeah. And, and, and granted, like, it. yeah. And, and granted in his case, he's acting out in the worst possible ways like marginalizing minorities and you know sinking the country because he doesn't know any better um oh yeah but but at the same time like part of you has to sympathize with him because there's not sympathize with him but sympathize with the situation which is really this is how he was taught this is how he grew up and he honest to god doesn't know anything else yeah so now it's like in the abstract again like you can you can kind of sympathize and with kids i i will always sympathize and be like yeah we, what can we do to fix this yeah when they're an adults and they can like do damage like, right but this it, yeah this is, this is a 72 year old man this isn't yeah we're not gonna fix him I, and it, even no. then the way to fix him isn't to leave him in the most powerful office in the country i mean no. it's it's to get him out and get him clinical emotional him. psychological help I, I yeah. mean that that that's we're we're talking like therapy and possible institutionalization for for some of the things that he does and says. Uh, particularly yeah. if, as I suspect, it will one day come out, he really is involved with these horrible crimes that the people around him keep getting wrapped up in, like child yeah. trafficking. Uh, I, I mean that's that's a that's different kind of level of yeah. yeah horror I, I mean the man's always been a sleaze and dishonest and and just a bad businessman but i mean it's always the 
it, it's interesting to whatever how level people... yeah to whatever level he knew about epstein's pedophilia and everything else going on the, these two guys that were his campaign chairs in, in these yeah. key key states i mean you don't just you don't just get randomly appointed um a chair of a campaign i mean you have to have a personal relationship for, yeah for that to and you have to and when you have yeah. a kind of a close relationship with someone even if you don't know all the things even if you don't know all their dirty laundry mm -hmm. you you have you have an idea of right. what they're about. You, you, know? you know the character you of the... In, yeah. You can always tell the caliber of the person that you're dealing yeah. with if you've worked with them for even a day. Like, And, and just like a lot out. of the voters did, they overlook that because mm -hmm. what? Oh, well, at least it's not Hillary Clinton. I yeah, mean, right. Which, but her again, emails, a lot yeah. of these... Man. And I've, I've talked with people, people I know. It's just really sad if they're not like like QAnon people let's just say or Pizzagate people mm -hmm. that they believe some of these fringe conspiracy the people who I don't know don't have fucking cable anymore and just you know watch YouTube or just glom onto these things I don't know what mm -hmm. it is but it's like yeah the Hillary body count and stuff it's like what? oh god yeah. like seriously dude like, did you hear Hillary's that she planned Benghazi people. yeah right. oh my god like that's the kind of at least it's like they see the stuff that Trump's doing they're not completely ignorant to that it's just like yeah i see that and oh maybe i'm holding my nose a little but at least it's not hillary who's killed people yeah Oof. Right. that's that's where it's just like where do i even start with that like yeah. it's... <laughs> i'm not i'm not actually fit i don't have the psych degree to even no. argue this with you <laughs> no well and, then, and that's the thing that that was kind of what the point of this article that i read was there's no real arguing with it because <laughs> it doesn't play by the rules of like conventional rhetoric and debate. It's entirely yeah. its own. Like y in order to even approach them in conversation, you have to be a part of their universe. You have to yeah. like see the world as, you know, the to, to go way back and use Obama's uh, phrase, the, the bitter cling type of people mm -hmm. understand Trump's legacy and yeah. campaign. Reading about like, Kind of like baby boomers in general. I get, not to like throw a whole generation under the bus or anything. Yeah, but no, I, I know you, what you see it. Yeah. You see it more with with kind of that age group is mm -hmm. like the because like what is, what is that term Colbert uh, coin truthiness? Yeah, truthiness. That it's more yeah. about what your gut feels. Uh -huh. It's more about okay, you're saying that you're throwing these facts at, me, but you know I know what the truth right. is. Well, and you I ask see what's you going ask on, most of you know? the people like if you're genuinely having a conversation, you say to someone. um you know, who's chanting, lock her up. Well, lock her up for what? They, they can't really give you a straight answer <laughs> other than, you know, I just don't like her. You know, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's how the they feeling. feel. It's how they feel about her. She's a privileged, yeah. wealthy, powerful white woman, and she has things that they don't. And, and yeah. they don't believe that a person with that set of genitalia should have things or have authority or power over them. Yeah, and, and they're fed a narrative from a lot of different places. You know, yeah. maybe it's more the mainstream, like Fox News kind of stuff. Maybe they read Breitbart or something. Mm -hmm. But they keep getting these things, and maybe they can't articulate it. But it's all these, you know, kind of coded things, or yeah. maybe just straight up lies. Dude, that... the, the more I see of him, and I try not to. Granted, what Trump? N not Trump. I'm, I was just about to say. You know who I'm convinced is quite possibly the most despicable person in our country or in the media today. Is fucking... Well, for me, Mitch McConnell. Oh, Mitch but... McConnell. Okay, I can get on with that. Oh, you're gonna oh, say Mitch you, McConnell? No, you, you, okay, so for you, it's a politic. I, I was referring just in terms of media. I, I was gonna say oh. Tucker Carlson. Like, there's oh, no, okay. there's no one individual I've ever seen on the news who is more willing to just debase himself to to oh, yeah? make a conservative talking point. Okay, uh, like, I haven't paid attention to Carlson in a, oh, a long time. Oh, don't, don't. Because there's nothing to pay attention to. He's he, he's almost like pure stream of consciousness. He's, he's like the conservative id given voice. It's it's a wow. nightmare uh, to, to watch him speak. And, and like the way he, he's got a, the, the worst is his relationship with women. He's got a serious problem with women. And just uh. like the way he talks to them. It's like if you've ever been in a restaurant where you're like across the booth from someone who's in, clearly a very unhealthy relationship and the mm -hmm. man is just like see if you weren't so fucking stupid you would understand my work and and, and stuff oh, like God. that like that's how he talks to just like women he's interviewing and, wow. and like on a regular basis and it, i mean it, it's hard to it's really is difficult to watch and his ratings his um 
media base is skyrocketing right now because that's he sad. is he is speaking to this demographic in a way and in terms that they really appreciate. Like he he's not afraid to you know bitch slap some bitch slap some spoiled woman. He's not afraid to you know call the the colored waiter what he is. And you know he's not. A, wow. Yeah. I I mean that's exactly that's, that's the type sad. of yeah. And, and and it is like I Trump's election like that days. people people are thinking oh they get they're emboldened now and they're like oh wow I can actually do this I can you know like how Trump spoke to people in certain people in a way that they were never spoken to like oh there is someone who actually thinks like I do and right. I don't have to be polite anymore uh -huh. you know someone yep. actually has my back that has a stage yep and of course they got elected to the highest office of the land and, and that only emboldens it even more yeah right yeah or so, so, tucker carlson yeah. before trump i no, mean he was he a nobody was, he was a sleaze no. bag yeah you know but he he actually but he was a fringe like, sleaze bag yeah yeah so dude this game but, side note uh, i know we're talking like some actually fairly interesting politics right now but <laughs> um this game does not hold your hand at all and i'm not sure if i've missed a bunch of stuff so i'm basically just meandering around if you notice just, anything call call it out you got but, it. Yeah. Anyways, go, go on. This is fascinating. It, it is kind of like a mist kind of thing. Is that a body? No. Yeah. Or is that a body? No, that's a trash bag. I don't know. It's just kind of an odd <laughs> texture. Dude, I can't tell if this game There's is a, a body in the bag. I don't know if this game is horror <laughs> or not, to be honest. Maybe it's kind of like just a thriller that's kind of knocking on the door of horror, like Alan Wake or something. It's starting to get there for me. Like, this building is uh, freaking me out a little bit. This is creepy, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so anyways, go on. Go, go back to your point. Oh, I'm really into this it's conversation. Funny. If, if, you, if you would have said, like, five years ago, who's a media personality, or more like eight years ago, like, mm -hmm. who's the media personality who's, like, kind of the most evil or most opportunist? Bill O'Reilly, like, everyone. Well, for me, Glenn Beck. Or Glenn Beck, you know? yeah. Okay. And these days, and Beck, yeah. I would think... Um, who the fuck? He has like the highest rated show on Fox. Um, you sure not thinking Hannity, Tucker's Hannity. Oh, Sean Hannity, yeah. Yeah, Sean Hannity. He he seems like a huge opportunity. Again, yeah, I he's, he's I doing that same like, thing. Like looked I, at Carlson, but I think Hannity he had, is Hannity had to have been thrilled when O'Reilly got ousted because that oh, just bet, like, yeah. opened the door for him. Yeah, seriously, and he's he basically has has Trump in the palm of his hand. He knows that Trump mm -hmm. is watching him every night. So yep. he he knows on his show he is basically speaking to him directly. Yes, which is and creepy that, to watch. That's scary. If you've and, ever and watched an episode that, of it, yeah. It's it's almost like Hannity himself. He must feel pretty powerful. Oh, uh, yeah. and kind of for good reason that he he thinks he can at least sway the executive the whole executive branch on on his nightly show depending on what he says that he he can almost like drive you know not even not, if not necessarily like legislation he can like drive a conversation somewhere uh -huh. you know where trump's going to be tweeting or talking about it the next day uh and that's i mean if you know you have that kind of sway you know if you if you don't immediately just like you know what mr president uh, you think you you know you should be getting <laughs> maybe going to your briefings and be getting your information, you know, from a lot of different sources. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and said, it's well, just like, okay, shit, I'm going to take advantage of this. And once again, that's just never the way he's going to operate, because all his life, he's been surrounded by yes men who just, mm -hmm. you know, feed into his worst impulses. So like, you can't yeah. expect a, a person who for 70 years has never had to be accountable for his own actions to suddenly yep. have to step up and take legitimate <sighs> criticism. Yeah, and there's no That's shortage not of how the human shit brain bags works. who yeah. will take advantage of him in in turn. Right, which is why like he Hannity has who are going to get money, are going to mm -hmm. get fame, are are going to get everything from Trump basically. And that's also why you he know, has he such scratches back a little. Yep, that's why he has such tremendous turnover in his staffing is because the moment someone says something he doesn't like or criticizes him or God forbid talks to the press, he can just replace them with someone else who. We'll say what he likes. Oh, yeah, who's and, itching. Yeah. yeah, who's just waiting to get in. That's exactly right. Yeah. You have people who their conscience starts to bother them, I think, after a little bit. Holy crap. Oh, it was for only for a second. My uh, my image quality got a lot better. <laughs> oh, really? That's a shame. Yeah, I wonder why. But anyway. Dude, I don't know what um, to do with this game. Like, hmm. there's a million different directions you can go. It's it's pretty. Yeah, this is. I was thinking that this might be like. I was um, thinking of much more linear Swan path. Yeah. Or uh, what's the other one they literally just did? Uh, the Edith Finch. Where oh yeah. It's, okay. 
it it kind like of gives the, I like of narratives, I like yeah. those games. Me too. You know, don't get me wrong, but it's they more give the illusion of openness, but really it's pretty like point A to point B. This, this it's, is it's more of a thing for a narrative. This really seems like a mist style thing. Yeah, this is way you, more you open. You truly are open. Yeah. Than I would have guessed. Like you're, that's you're the like way missing the one or two things yeah. that you need to click on and again they don't really tell you so what i'm doing like, right hey, now here. i'm trying to get a look this is the path i just came in on i think i'm okay. trying to get a good like sense of orientation like where am i in relation to that train station i just came from but you can't see it because of all the damn trees so i'm just yeah. gonna roll with this and see if we stumble upon what we need because, I mean, I'm really intrigued. This game is beautiful. I love the art style and the setting. And um, it's creeping me out a little bit, which is really cool. Um, you haven't been in here, have you? No, I've not been in the church yet. Okay. Whoa, dude. That looks weird. That looks pretty... Uh, yeah, I can tell that looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Even though... Oh, hell. It's dark in here, though. Oh, is there really nothing in here? It's just an abandoned church. With really creepy... You can't hear the music right now, but it's creepy. Oh, I'll, okay. uh, oh, here we go. Oh, I'll see it in a bit. Okay, so wait a minute. I can. T there's an item I can take. What? Now, that makes me wonder what else could I have possibly picked up. You can't jump, so I can't make that. Huh. Dude, this game is throwing me for a loop. <laughs> Excuse me. Never. It was disgusting. Just had some pizza. Be ashamed. <laughs> I, I've oh, eaten, like, damn shit it. this weekend. It's been great. What? It's a crypt. <laughs> I mean, so far this game hasn't crypt. given any indication that there's danger. It's going to have jump scares right. or something. But Well, you, you couldn't kill yourself on the trap. I was going to say, if they <laughs> build it up like that, though, that's usually, like, the best place to have a jump scare. Like, with yeah. a lot of buildup. Crow, 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 crow. Okay, what about the damn crow? Crow. Why does it keep saying crow? It's I like can't interact. You can't with see. It. Maybe there's a crow out here. Mortar, towel, pile of bricks. All right. Work dropped, interrupted. All right. Dude was just working in here. He's like, I gotta fucking kill that kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe that is what happened. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Crow, crow carcasses. carcasses. Blood is, is everyone just fucking dead? Oh, dude. I hope this kid wasn't, like, butchered in, like, some kind of cult. Yeah, with some kind of Wicker Man shit. Yeah, dude. This is gonna be, like, a whodunit. Only everyone did it. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, this whole... They like, all, he the just, whole town got together. He just stumbled into the wrong village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Dude. This is fucking creepy, man. I I, I was not expect I was expecting I don't know what I was expecting. I was almost thinking like some kind of um Oh Wait, now how do I use my oil lamp fix? Okay, cool. I was right. expecting kind of a like a Dickensian a thriller. like kind of that that's I think more... like a sad story. Okay. Like, ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Let's find out what happened to this kid. Like when oh, I saw so the screenshots... even if they're supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. When I saw the screenshots and I saw like this kind of serene looking countryside, I really was expecting like a like a ye old murder mystery, you know, like someone <laughs> on this train is a murderer. <laughs> but this is like fucking straight up an actual yeah, story. This is, this is this is like Resident Evil in the boonies. This is like Resident Evil Seven vibes yeah, almost. Yeah, that's kind of where <laughs> where I'm going with this here. Okay, so maybe I have to bring up. something else here. I have been trying to pay attention, so. Oh, wait you gotta interact with that crow, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's something with that. Although crow. I don't. Every time it does that, where it's like spilling out the one word or the question marks or something, you don't. Fuck. Dude. What? Hmm. Is this some kind of like Blair Witch shit? 
It is. It's getting into that real early. <laughs> what? What? Yes. Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? Only to Donald Trump. <laughs> Wait, didn't she say there were only three questions? Uh, that's what I was thinking. Or maybe we just assume that's, things yeah. come in three. Answer me these questions three. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking the same thing. And I don't think she ever said or they ever said three. Or the, oh. oh, dude, it is some kind of Blair Witch shit. Yeah, definitely. Okay, a beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the house, the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Woo. Okay, on this side, fear turn to... Okay, so the scrapped one? Oh, okay, cool. You can actually read it that way. What the hell, dude? And the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Huh. It's another one. Oh. Shit, come on. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want to keep you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it. And I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just got to pull your head out of them clouds, okay? All right. Uh, rotate. Nothing. Huh. Shit. Okay, so wait a minute. This is where Ethan was camping out. He tried to make himself a house, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Like fucking Castle Byers. Or... Oh, dude, have you watched Stranger Things 3? Nah, just the first episode. All right, I won't say anything, but damn it, it's hard you, to... you, Okay, you've already watched the whole thing. Yeah, I, I steamed through like it. Most, most people have. It's so good, man. Like, I, I like this is the first season. Like, I, I've always enjoyed Stranger Things, and I, I think it's, like, fun, yeah. like, 80s nostalgia. But this is the first season where I was kind of thinking, I was like, wow, this is some, like, legit good sci-fi. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It, it, and it's not just, like, catering to the 80s nostalgia or something. I mean, it still it's definitely like does that show. plenty, but... Um, but like the, you know, the, the sci-fi and the conspiracy aspects are more pronounced in this season. Okay. And there's, there's like a couple legitimate shockers. Um, like stuff that I did not see coming, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll watch, uh, okay. Maybe start watching it tomorrow. I, uh, I'm rewatching Evangelion, which it doesn't, I haven't watched that show in like over 10 years and it, they did a new English dub. So I'm just watching the sub version, which I never had before, and it's fine. Uh -huh. but, yeah, there's definitely some changes. They actually even changed the, I guess, the the subtitle track. And I think it's a little more literal. There's some things like it just, I don't know what the fuck, if it's like, instead of calling like first child, a third child, it's like first children, second children. Oh, like, really? What? what the fuck? That is weird. So it, it is a little bit weird. I only got the last two episodes, which are... I don't know. <laughs> As a teenager, they were kind of a slog, uh -huh. but um, because they're just weird. But you know, they're it's a good show, so I'll get through that. I think I'm gonna probably start Made in Abyss, which I've never watched before. It's on did Amazon Prime. So did I check these places? I don't out? think so. I know I checked out like a derelict house, but I don't think this was it. Was it? I don't think so. This wasn't it. No. I don't think this was it. Maybe this was it. Yeah. Hmm. yeah oh, no, you know what? You're yeah. right. You're this, right. This yeah. Now, right. now that you've circled it, around, yeah, it's just it's a different angle. It. it just looks different from the front. Okay, but then there's this other one over here. I'm curious about that too. 
this game gives you just enough freedom of movement too. Like I said, it, it's it's way more open than I would have guessed originally looking at it. Yeah, I was expecting again like a series of like forest paths, and that's it. That's something that's. Well, I invoke this. the boneless. Yep, dude, this is some kind of cult <laughs> shit. The yep. one of the voids, the destroyers of ships, and he who is oh she, happened again. Where the graphics got really good. Yeah, I can read this myself finally. Huh. Great Minister Fockler. Fucker. Fuckler, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Fucker. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path of falsity and guile and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Okay. Aglon, Tetragram, Voikian, Stimulation, F, Z, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I know Adonai. <laughs> that's, that's, he, that's Hebrew. Hmm. All right, whatever. Uh oh, more flashbacks. Yeah. Oh fuck this, this shit! This is when things stand still sometimes. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Should I go for it? Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, this would be a puzzle. What? This be a puzzle. What? Portal? <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I wouldn't be sticking around at this point. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Ooh. I thought you were like going into an oblivion gate for a second there. Uh-huh. <laughs> what the hell is this, dude? Wait, okay, so the behind me stays the same. I can switch which room I go into. I guess. This is... Can I jump out the window? Because that seems like the easiest way to get out of this house right now. <laughs> this is trippy, dude. Okay, so those are back together. Is it like I have to reconstruct the house? Oh. I think kind you're right. Thing. Okay, so the red and is, that's the probably red wrong. Is red. Yes. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. All right. So as weird as this is, we may have to like look in here. Okay. But it's like saved your progress. Oh wait, no that 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 was that other place that I checked out. Wait, okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Look at it from the outside and figure out the architecture. Yeah, that right. makes the most sense. Okay, I think we're doing this right. Apparently that was something they did in The Shining with the hotel, is that they would follow the character going down hallways and stuff. Uh huh. But the interior actually made no sense. Right. It couldn't. It couldn't exist, and people like subconsciously knew that, and it filled them with a sense of unease. Yeah. Kubrick is fucking crazy. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wait. Okay, so that's the building that I'm, like, reconstructing. The... Oh, okay, so you can go inside and have I a can go inside and have a look-see. Let's do that real quick. Except I can't jump. <laughs> that's what kind of gets me about Horizon sometimes. Is it's kind of like, damn it, there's no yellow rope here or yeah, anything. Right. and But it looks like I'm supposed to be going up and you can it's just sometimes you gotta jump awkwardly mm -hmm. like five times before you you know get up a foot so okay so here we are just kind of memorize the layout a little bit bottom floor he was poking oh shit house again. okay bottom floor kitchen or dining room i guess okay 
above the dining room desk. Wait, I got an achievement. His family was convinced that hurting what is going on? Problems would soothe their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere. In the wind. So this was the Carters' home, I guess? Okay. So, there's that. This is the second floor. All right, and then top floor is just the attic. Oh wait, no, but if there's more to it than that. Attic oh, room. Super attic. Yeah. So this game is um, doing something really unique, which is that it's making me dread it just a little bit. Um, <laughs> despite the fact that there's no indication like that there's a monster or a murderer waiting for me. It's just like this overall sense of uneasiness combined with like the really isolated, beautiful atmosphere. Yeah. Did it say where this takes place? Uh, it kind of looks like Maine to me, but I've, I've never okay. been to Maine. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of mountains in Maine. I, I know this, this kind of like water and architecture. All right, let's try the cult letter again. Excuse me. I thought that was the game for a second. I was like, oh my okay. god! <laughs> yeah, there's okay, so now we're back on the that. first floor. Alright, and from here we had... Yes. Okay. And then over here we had... Yeah, do they make you do it all over if this. you mess up once? A little bit. No, if you mess up twice. Okay. That's not right. That's not right. It's got to be this. Yeah, okay. Nice. All right, so I think we've done the whole first floor. Okay, second floor. Yep. Uh, no? Yeah, I think this, yeah. Okay. Over here would be the stairs. But not nice. from that angle, right? No. Oh. Yes, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, and then over here... No! Okay, wait a minute. I fucked up. Shit, I'm... I'm... Where am I? Okay, I'm on the second floor still. There's the bedroom office sort of thing. Um, what was over here? Do you remember? I don't. <laughs> I'm not getting much detail. Okay, it can't be that because that would lead to an exterior room. Would it be this? Okay, good. Nice. Alright. Then yes. And... Not sure. Okay, good. Oof. All right. Okay, that's two floors done. Now the attic. Now it's gonna get like the dark rooms okay. that all look kind of samey. Okay, I think we did it. More. Oh fuck! What? Oh balls, dude. What is this here? shit? <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good. Okay. See, now they're going to add like a dash of clock towers. Yeah. Or... <laughs> You're going to get straight up a cult here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share, he share po his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him, but the magician said no. Excuse me, the people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. Well, fuck. But wow. the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. That's what I just solved. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Is he in this fucking room with me? <laughs> Why are you standing? 
Oh my god. Wow. Oh wait, no, this is Ethan. What the hell's wrong with you exactly? Oh god. Nothing. You need to stop weaving your stupid stories around. <laughs> so wait, another possibility? Maybe Ethan's stories are coming true? Came true? Okay, I just said Alan Wake. <laughs> Blaze reveals moonshine operation. Okay, this is taking me back to reality. I appreciate that. So I feel like the actual things that are happening, he's interpreting it in another way. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, actually, it was this thing. And maybe that is coming true. I don't know. NASA launches satellite. All the world's first educational satellite in Florida today, giving the U.S. powerful edge and telecommunication technology. Okay. The application technology satellite six... Oh, boy. Okay. I don't know what that's going to have to do with anything, but we will see. Okay. So, wait. This was... You're right. This was his potions room. This was like that... I, basically, like, I was seeing this room through Ethan's eyes. Mm. Oh, that's creepy. This kid was disturbed. <laughs> oh, he just had an imagination. Oh, God. Very disturbing imagination. Uh-huh. Okay, so secret room in the cupboard. That's why I didn't... Huh, that's interesting. What were they saying? That the voice you heard about more interested in the past because they could see the future or something. Uh, that was apparently the voice of the witch. But again, I'm not sure if there's an actual witch or that these are characters that Ethan has made up in his mind up. but there seems to be because that that door puzzle that we just solved that seemed to be like legit paranormal yeah <laughs> um so make of that what you will i almost wonder if this is going to end up being one of those things where it's kind of open to your own interpretation i haven't been down there yet that's got to be big some kind of freight elevator over here. This is, this is, like, I love how we started talking about just, like, whatever the hell, but now we're both, like, totally sucked yeah, in. And now we're just, like, yeah. And you can't even, like, fully see what's going on. <laughs> Sometimes it gets better. Sometimes it gets better. But yeah, I, I, I'm definitely kind of, yeah, like, right now, actually, it's okay. Right now, it's Weird. okay. But, um, oh, yeah, I can, I can tell what's going on, at least. Yeah. Ooh. So that's... That seems almost like final area E. But I feel like there's got to be more to that church and that catacomb with the crow. I think so. Thing. There was like nothing in there. Uh huh. Yeah, there's got. I'm. Where did we see that fuel canteen? That was way back at the beginning. A fuel by the, canteen. By the train tracks, right? Yeah, there was a fuel canteen. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. See if I, I can go back that. and pick that up. It, it should have been but, right on the other side of this bridge. Dude, okay, the graphics have been consistently good for the past, like, two minutes now. Oh, great. So I think a Discord fixed whatever was going on. I can actually appreciate this game a lot yeah. better now. Yeah, dude, I mean, it's a beautiful game. Okay, now I'm going to take... I've been sneaking little videos here and there. This is going to be my last one, so you can kind of see the difference. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, this is looking good. Okay, I'm... Hopefully, Discord keeps its shit together. Mm-hmm. It's also, it also, like, I, I told you there was, like, some judderiness to it. I kind of wonder if I was just, like, noticing it, like, being overcritical, or if it's legitimately gotten better. But it seems better on my end, too. It's, or at okay. least it seems smoother. I think I can... I don't think it's the internet. I can kind of see what you're talking about. Like how it jumps just a little bit? Yeah. Like I'm still like seeing it, but it's not... Like, it's, like, every other frame or something. That's just yeah. how... Maybe that's just how the game is, though? That, that could be. I don't know. Because it seems consistent... Mm -hmm. it, it's not like a, a random judder here or there yeah and i mean i you know i think i have the processing power to run this thing pretty consistently i mean i i ran doom at a solid 60 fps throughout the entire game without many graphical glitches of any kind so yeah okay so i'm following these tracks hoping to find that fuel canteen and mm -hmm. seeing if i can use that on that um, lantern that I left back at the chapel. So did Doom have many puzzles, like kind of the old games? No, it was all I combat. Heard it was, 
Yeah, I heard it was mostly like more combat than your typical FPS even. Oh yeah, dude. It was it was all about like the carnage. It's just all about having plenty of ammo and, mm-hmm. and just wrecking things. Okay. That's exactly I mean there so, were some like mazes and things that you had to work your way around a little bit, but nothing that like the the only time mm-hmm. that I playing that with Nick where I was ever genuinely stumped was where I wasn't paying attention and just got sidetracked. Okay. Okay. So I have to go back further than I thought. It's a damn good looking game now, all things considered. Yeah, it is. It's it's also crazy how far you actually do go. Like I just came yeah. from there. Like that was I ran across that bridge. The guy moves pretty fast too, which is nice. <laughs> I mean not quite as fast as Doom guy, but still he's he's making his way around pretty pretty smoothly. And you can definitely tell this is Unreal Engine 4. So, but I am also noticing that like random like bar glitch that, uh, all right. So here's this dude. I don't know what touch means. Like what, where am I supposed to touch? Unless it's a tutorial or something and he's not supposed to yield anything. I don't know. I kind of doubt that though. Man, it seems odd. Unless there's a certain part of him that once you touch it, you see... Ugh. Yeah, dude, he did not die. You're touching then. the butt. Yeah, I'm touching the butt. <laughs> You're all booty. Okay, now wait a minute. Oh, here. Okay, real car. Real car, real car. Monorail. 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 <laughs> Monorail. <laughs> Maybe I can move the rail car now? So was this dude like tied to the tracks and they just crunched his legs? I guess. And then yeah, okay, and then he tried once that happened, he was free and he crawled for a little bit. I guess. I mean, it didn't dawn on me that Ethan Carter was a kid until <laughs> about 20 Poor minutes shit. into this and then it's like, oh, that's not Ethan Carter. <laughs> I was like, wow, so now we just have to figure out what happened to the poor guy. So I'm guessing I have to I find those things. Like yeah. Hours later. I bet yeah. you I gotta find those things and come back here and actually operate this. And this is like that'll probably be like like one of those end where it began game. sort of things. Yeah. So yeah, they want you to come back with all of that. Mm-hmm. But it really seems like the fuel canteen should have something to do with the um with the the lantern. Lantern, yeah. But it does not. So okay, whatever. Hey, friend. Now, as a private investigator, why would you keep on going on by yourself? Like, fucking call the cops. Get them out call of here. Call for backup. Right? <laughs> That's the beauty of the these narratives, though. Yeah, the, it's, it's the isolated feeling that really makes it um, legit creepy. It's kind of like Metroid. Like, Metroid isn't a horror game by any stretch of the imagination, but... The level of isolation that Nintendo is able to get with those games, you really do feel like you're like you're alone just digging through this alien planet. Yeah. And, on this or in the planet. case of this game, like you really feel like you're some poor schlub who's getting caught up in this really big like occult conspiracy. Yeah, it really sucks you in when you're by yourself. Yeah, it does. And it was very noticeable in Prime Three when mm-hmm. there was a lot more people. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Prime 3 was like the weakest one for me because it was so populated. Yeah. It was it was really cool because it was the first one that had the control the controls on the Wii. That was the first time it actually I was worked like, well, okay, yeah. I can I can get into this and that was without Motion Plus. That was just a regular Wii remote Yeah, and it that's worked. Weird. It, it worked, it worked very well. Yep. I I will and give then them credit. And it came out with Trilogy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and they I actually one and two. And I was just gonna say, I actually prefer the um, trilogy version of the original Metroid Prime. Oh yeah, that control scheme is great. It does. <laughs> it works legitimately well, and I actually like that it didn't have like the you know twist your wrist to open the door sort of stuff. I mean, I, oh, I don't yeah. need that. I just like the shooting mechanics. Exactly. 
using it not necessarily motion controls just the ir where you're aiming that's right. that was fine all right so max we're at about the hour mark i'm thinking next time on play the hits we go back to that chapel try to figure out what's going on in those catacombs then maybe snake our way down to whatever building that is see what sounds good see what more we can find i think i also see a tunnel it looks like down there maybe my guess is maybe the catacombs lead you down in into that area maybe because like when you look at where the catacombs are they probably go down and you get deposited out here okay unless i can just no it doesn't seem that i can go down and around next episode we find the jump button (laughs) yeah that's exactly that's exactly right where's the fucking jump button all right dude we will see you next time all right see you then